Okay, hi, Gideon Shalvok here. I'm just on my way up to uh, my apartment where I'm going to record a really cool video for you. It shows you how you can create content for your blog or your website really, really quickly using uh, just a little camera uh, and, and yourself basically. So follow me as I now um, get ready to uh, record this video for you in my home studio, which is just over here. And uh, I know you're going to love it. See you soon. Hi there, Gideon Shalwick here. A few weeks ago, I got an email from a friend asking me for an email interview. So if you don't know what that is, basically, uh, this person asked me to answer a bunch of email questions with email. So he wanted me to reply back with some text. Now, um, I enjoy writing, but I enjoy speaking and being in front of a cam camera more. And I find that it's easier for me to create content using a camera like this and talking to you like this. So I figured, hey, what the heck, I'm not going to type anything back. I'm just going to create a video about it and turn it into a, an interview. So acting like it looks like an interview, like the person is actually interviewing me live. But in fact, it was just, just me sitting there. So I want to show you the setup that I have for that so that you can do that too. Because I think it's a really, really easy way of creating blog content uh, really fast and, and you know, getting some really cool content out there at the same time. So basically what I did was um, I had the questions from uh, my friend on my laptop just in front of me. Um, I was sitting on the chair just, just over there in front of my laptop. And so I could see the questions on my screen all the time. And then as the setup, I had a light over here that pointed sort of on a 45 degree angle to my face. And at the camera at about the same position, um, at the same height, as where my face was when I was sitting down. So sitting down was a little bit lower. So this is sort of the approximate positions that I used for the light and the camera. Of course, if you're in a well-lit room, you probably don't need a, an extra light depending on how good your camera is. But I decided to use one of these fancy lights to you know, make it look a little bit better. And I was recording at night, so I needed the light. Um, but then the other thing that I did was, instead of looking at the camera while I was recording, because then it's obvious that no one's interviewing you, I looked at another place uh, on, you know, <laughs> in the kitchen. I looked at the fridge um, while I was talking, acting like, you know, like I was speaking to the person interviewing me. So on, on the camera, it looked like there was someone else sitting right over here interviewing me. But I was in fact just sitting over there and looking at my fridge. I, and you know, something I did that helped was I put a picture here of someone uh, that I could focus on and so that, that it looked like I was speaking to someone else. And, you know, I just put a photo here of, you know, someone on the fridge. And so you could do something similar. That's a really cool tip. Put actually a, a picture of someone's face there. So that, that brings your interview to life and it, it makes it come across a lot more real. So you'll see in the interview that I did uh, in, in the other video uh, with Louis uh, how that comes across. So I, I start off the video with, um, you know, intro an introduction with a splash screen of some text and then I get straight into the first question. So instead of... Uh, Louis asking me the questions live. I just have the questions as as text So everyone else assumes that the other person in this case Louis is just kind of sitting here and asking me the questions And I'm just answering but in fact, you know, it's just me looking at the screen at the questions So I just wanted to share that with you um, as a really cool and an easy way of creating content for uh, for your blog so you don't need someone else to ask you these questions You can actually come up with a bunch of questions yourself I think if you're going to be putting your video on YouTube, keep it brief, maybe just three or four questions. Try and keep your video to about three to five minutes. They're the most sort of powerful and most likely videos to go viral. Uh, the interview that I did was a little bit longer, but I had to answer those questions. But you don't have to. You can have uh, less questions um, about a certain topic uh, of, your, of your niche. Uh, maybe the, the, the five top uh, questions you get asked in your niche. or or, or whatever it is, uh, whatever your audience is interested in. Uh, so you write those questions down, um, have it in front of you, and, and basically just, just hit record. And, and then afterwards you do your editing and upload it to YouTube and, and send it to your list uh, or, or put it on your blog or whatever and, and you know, make it come, come across really interesting. Now, I guess the other thing about interviews is that they're, they're more interesting you know, than you just speaking to the camera like I'm doing now. Sometimes. Um, having a bit of variation is a good idea. So I just wanted to share that tip with you. Uh, it's something that I've done a few times now and it's really easy. And as you can see, it's, uh, you know, it gives a pretty good result and it uh, makes you come across more like an expert as well. 
That's it from me and I'll see you inside the next video.